Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love, and here's a little preview of our project today. So let's get started. Let's do a little set of six in a crazy color palette. I try these crazy color palettes because some of mine that were the craziest colors somehow magically came together at the end and they're some of my very favorite. So like palette 198 and palette 339. Um, I have them hang them way over there on the wall. But that those are the ones where I did the the flowers and the purple flowers and stuff. And the other one was those kind of antique looking buildings. So then I came across this card and I'm like, those are crazy colors. And I definitely would never have picked them. So let's give it a go. <laughs> and I've got my Art Nouveau colors out because uh, these four colors kind of kind of match the card pretty good might not be exact this color may be way off and i may regret that choice 404 saffron yellow 405 green gold 601 grayish blue and 51 pale aqua i thought those could be just we're just going to give it a go we're just going to jump right in it and it is what it is we're going to go where we're going to go and i pulled out some little fusion paints to possibly do on top or i could do posca pen or i could do i could do graphite like what oh i could do charcoal because this other color in here i did not actually pull a color for that because I thought maybe we could use some charcoal. So this is the extra large charcoal block. It looks like a brown. Uh, yeah, that's the good color. And this is the set that's the older set. So depending on when you watch this video, it may or may not be available. They have updated these sets, but I have them. So I'm going to use them. All right, and then when you got powder all over your hands, you need some microfiber cleaning cloths in your art room. You can just wipe your fingers on that and you won't get stuff all over your art. All right, let's just jump in. I'm going to mix this green gold with this charcoal. And the charcoal is water soluble, so that will also kind of aid in me pushing that charcoal around. And, you know, I like doing stuff like this because I have no idea, no idea where we're going. And we just get started and I'm just as surprised as you at the end when we magically make something work. <laughs> and every time I say, well, I don't know if you're going to see this one or not. But you know what? Every time I've shown them to you, even the ones that I've been like, oh, these were duds today. So you have actually seen everything. And so my uh, tip is always to whichever is your least favorite color, use it last. So that, that saffron yellow is going to get used last. Okay, you know what I'm kind of feeling like this is turning into, which, you know, when I got started, I didn't really have an idea or a specific place that we were going. I just pulled a color palette card and said, what can we create? I'm feeling like this is some yummy grungy abstract -y work today that is kind of digging on me like look at these yummy surprisingly enough you know what it is it's these yummy kiritake paints that i love so much that's what does makes these amazing huh <laughs> look at that okay <laughs> all right so now i just kind of want to stop there so Maybe we'll just, ooh, I think this is my favorite. So which is the least favorite? Let's start over here. It's not my least favorite, but I do think that it's a good spot to just experiment a tiny bit and see, do we, is that where we want to go? We don't have to put a ton of each color in there. Just a suggestion of the color is fine. And every time I've done that and followed my instincts and went ahead and did it, I have liked what it did, so now I just trust the process. So even if you don't love a color, put a dot in there of that color. Make yourself trust the process. Ooh, but I do like what that little bit of blue is doing, so good choice. All right, so the saffron yellow is the questionable one here. All 
Oh, you know what that does to it? It gives us a pop of brightness that we were kind of not having in there. So, okay, I don't hate it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to use a lot of it, but I definitely am like, okay, I can live with that. I don't hate it. And you can use it real light. You don't have to use it super duper saturated, but I want you to at least try every color on your color palette, even if it's just a blip. But it looks really good on that one. And then while they're all still wet, you know, it might blend in with it anyway, so you might not in the end actually see it, but I do want you to at least make the effort. <laughs> Someone said in one of my videos they were painting and they could hear my voice in their head. And I said, what was I saying? Was I saying be brave? <laughs> she said, you were oohing and on. I'm like, okay, I like that too. All right, I wish I hadn't done that on that one. Brr. Let's come back and put on top of that with the colors that I liked. And bring it back to what I liked. Brr. I think that one might be my favorite. Was that my favorite before? Because I think that's my favorite now. All right, so now I'm like, oh, loving these. Loving these people. All right, let's let this dry. We might do some mark making on top. Oh, you know what we could do? We could take the back of our brush and just kind of move some color around and make some marks in the wet paint. I like doing that because it's very subtle and it does a little mixing. Add some movement to your piece. Doesn't have to be a pencil. You can doesn't even have to do any art material. It can just be marks and movement in the wet paint. And my goal is to end up with one piece that I love, love. It's not to end up with six masterpieces, but that would be a bonus if we did. All right, let's let these dry and then we can see what we got. All right, these are actually looking crazy good. I feel like I lost some of the contrast in this piece here and even though um, I pulled out a bunch of little paints and other things I think that we're not going to use them. I really think that these with their marks and stuff um, kind of don't need anything else beyond the maybe charcoal marks that I'm adding to bring some contrast back. But other than that, I think we're there. Um, I do like this on the top as a last bit of contrast. And remember, this is charcoal, so if I finish this, I'll spray a soft pastel fixative on it uh, is what I'll do. I'll run that outside, spray those, and I'll be good to go. Okay, I think this one's my favorite, though. All right, so even though I had big plans to dolly this one up with lots of marks and stencils I think I'm gonna say I like where it's at and cut these apart and take a look at them so let's peel the tape and see let's evaluate because these are super cool and this was our inspiration palette so how did we do kind of coming up with the colors in that palette I think we are pretty darn close I'm super impressed I kind of doubt it. Like, I almost do that on purpose. I pull a card because I'm like, this is the one that's going to stump me. <laughs> and then I'm like, let's just see where we go. This is the one that's not going to work today. And then these are way better than I even expected. Like, whoa. Oh, my goodness. All right. Look at these. All right. Sometimes I'm very minimalist and sometimes I'm very maximalist. And I think we've kind of edged back towards a little bit more minimal. And this one right here is still my favorite. That one's kind of amazing. It just sometimes they just work out and you're like, I love everything about that. I would totally frame it and hang it in my house. It's beautiful. And then these other ones, I'm loving all of these. This is my favorite though. So what did you think? How do we do with this? rather crazy color palette and again kind of is one of my very favorite i love hanging these up when i find the ones that i really really love i kind of hang pull them out of the box and hang them so i can revisit the color palettes again like i would totally revisit this one again it doesn't look 
nearly as fun and retro as our little van there which is what I love about the pieces I created but we used that as our inspiration came up with something super cool so I hope you enjoyed painting with me today I hope you loved checking out that crazy color palette I can't wait to see what you guys are creating feel free to tag me on Instagram at two little owls art or you can join the Facebook group I link everything below the video along with the supplies and I'll see you next time